She heard me and stopped what she was doing. What did you say, honey? Nothing. I couldn't hide the emotion coloring my voice. I felt really stupid to be saying such things. Come here, sweetheart, come here. I went to her. She gave me the biggest hug. It'll work itself out, okay? You're one of us, Aim. Just be yourself. Keep your eyes open. But I'm lost. The gods have a plan for us. I thought I would get away the first chance I got, I said, but I stayed. Something's keeping me here. I don't even want to go back anymore. I felt a tear slide down the side of my face and cool air in my wet cheek. You miss your family, right? She gasped. But there's something here? Yeah, pretty much. She held my hand. I understand. You do? I sure as hell do. Where did you come from anyway, Bless? Northwest? Portland? Vancouver? Yeah, something like that. She brushed it aside. You? Back east. The Green Mountains. The Green Mountains? She laughed. Sounds like a fucking fairy tale. Are you kidding? No. No shit. The Green Mountains. She repeated the words like I made them up. What? Was the Jolly Green Giant your uncle? No, but Jack and the Beanstalk is my cousin, I said. Seriously, honey, the Green Mountains aren't going anywhere. You might see them again, but trust me, stick around. You've been treated well enough. Freddy hasn't hurt you, has he? No. Then stay. Remember how things were growing up? The voices... Knowing you were not like the others, remember? You heard them too, I asked her. I was amazed. Of course I did. I thought I was the only one. We got more in common than you would think, Aim. My heart was skipping beats. She continued on. We were predestined. You were brought here because you belong. I never thought of it that way. I started scratching the polish off my nails. Maybe.